Tomorrow on 2, a new series, Hidden Ground. All fiction has its autobiographical roots, spreading through, in my case, a provincial world, limited and claustrophobic. It isn't nostalgia that pulls the fiction writer back into the past. It's his curiosity about the state of childhood and his feeling that what happens in childhood has happened forever. Irish novelist William Trevor explores his hidden ground tomorrow at 7.30 on 2. In a few minutes, you and me. Now at 2 o'clock, the news with Chris Lowe. Good afternoon. The radical Soviet politician Boris Yeltsin has been elected President of the Russian Federation, the largest republic in the Soviet Union. Three years ago, Mr Yeltsin was sacked as the party chief in Moscow for trying to push through reforms too quickly. His election came as President Gorbachev left Moscow on his way to Canada at the start of a week-long visit to North America. It will include a summit meeting with President Bush. Dutch police hunting the IRA terrorists who killed two Australian tourists say they're hoping that souvenir photographs taken by the men might help track down the killers. They were shot after the IRA mistook them for British servicemen. Meanwhile, the army's ruled out any change to the policy of issuing ordinary British number plates to servicemen and their families. The Northern Ireland Secretary Peter Brook will be having talks this afternoon with the leader of the Alliance Party, John Alderdice. Mr Brook is having a wide range of discussions aimed at breaking the political deadlock in the province. He's reported steady progress after talks with the Irish government in Dublin. Arab leaders have agreed to extend their emergency summit in Iraq for an extra day. They want more time to consider how to try to control the immigration of Soviet Jews to Israel. The Arabs fear Israel is using the Soviet newcomers to push out Palestinians from the occupied territories. The PLO leader Yasser Arafat has attacked America for what he calls its flagrant support of Israel. That's it. Now the weather with Bill Giles. Thanks very much. The fine weather of the weekend has now gone. There's rain spreading its way into western parts, some quite heavy rain at times too. That'll be pushing northwards and eastwards as we go through the afternoon. They're not getting over into the extreme southeast until tonight, but that rain will then continue to push its way right across the country. Tomorrow, then, still some rain on the eastern side, only very gradually clearing away. Brighter weather eventually coming into the western part, but still one or two showers. But as you can see, some rain to come for just about all of us. And that's it. At 2.15, there's another chance to see this week's edition of Sign Extra, with sign language and subtitles. First on BBC Two, you and me, Cosmo and Dibs are in the market today with Harry Taub. They remember the day they paid a visit to an old castle. You and me, me and me, lots and lots for you to do, lots and lots for you to see. Me and me, me and me. Went to see this castle yesterday and climbed 97 steps to the top. Give my love to everybody at the market, especially Dibs and Cosmo. Hello, Harry. Ah, oh, good morning, you two. Uh, what's the postcard about, Harry? It's from Mike on his holiday. Look, he sends you his love. That's the castle he went to see. Oh, uh, a castle? It looks very old. Well, I expect it is. People don't build castles like that these days. Cosmo, do you remember when Liz took us to that castle? What was it called? I, I don't remember. This castle we went to with Liz was great. Mm. It had a, 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 a moat all the way round it and a drawbridge. Do you remember, Cos? Yes, it was... A terrible day. Terrible? How do you mean, terrible? I don't remember it being terrible. Well, you must have a very short memory then, Dibs. See, after we'd crossed over the drawbridge, we saw a little winding staircase. Liz said she'd wait for us while we went to explore. So we went down, and at the bottom, there was a door... We pushed it open and peered inside. Oh, yeah! It was a little dark room, all damp and gloomy. That's right, with water dripping down the walls. 
Suddenly, the door slammed shut. We were trapped, all on our own. Yeah, it was really spooky. We could hear little scurrying noises in the corner. It was probably rats. And a terrible howling noise. Ooh. Ooh. I think it was actually some doves. I saw them afterwards. Yeah, but you weren't so sure at the time. Well... I was very scared.